Hi there everyone. Today we are going to look at tags in Quicken and talk about what they are, why you would want to use them, and how to go about doing it. So sit tight and we'll jump right in. If you've never used tags in Quicken, you are missing out on a fantastic feature that provides greater flexibility in the way you report on your data. So what are tags? Well, tags are essentially additional labels or attributes that you can attach to your transactions. Now, tagging is not new. In fact, it's actually quite common in commercial and enterprise software to enable greater flexibility in understanding relationships among large data sets. Okay, okay, so tagging allows you to tag your data. So why would you want to do that? Well, in Quicken, when you enter a transaction, you assign a category like gas and fuel and you fill up your car. What tagging allows you to do is add another layer of categorization. So for example, I might want to tag which car that fuel was for. This way I can not only report on my total gas expenses for the month, but I can further break it down by how much gas was for my car and say my wife's car. Quicken even allows you to apply multiple tags to a transaction for even greater flexibility. Prior to tagging in Quicken, if you wanted to separate out this data, you actually had to do it by typing in specific payee names or creating specific categories for each vehicle. That could end up being very cumbersome and actually quite clumsy. So some common tag examples are vehicles like we just talked about, uh, even pets or people. So for example, when tracking vet bills, you could assign them to a specific pet or when buying groceries, you can tag who made that transaction. Now, let's look at an example of how to set up a tag, use it, and then run a report on it. To set up a tag, you would actually go to the Tools menu and select the tag list. Next, click New Tag and type in the name and description of it. In our example, we're going to create a tag for uh, our two dogs. We're going to do Fido and Fifi. Now, once these tags are created, we can use them in our transactions. First, you will want to ensure that the tag column is visible in your register. And to do this, all you have to do is select the settings icon and register columns and make sure tag is checked. Now, when you enter a transaction like this vet bill, you can select a tag in the same way you would select a category. This first vet bill is gonna to belong to Fido, and then we'll go ahead and we'll enter in a second vet bill that will belong to Fifi as well. So we'll have one for each. Now let's go see these tags in action. I could create reports to sort data by tags, or I can actually just do it on the fly. When I pull up my income and expense report, I can see all my pet expenses for February and drill in on them. Now we can see the two transactions that we just entered and the tags we added for each. If I wanted to break these transactions out by tag, I can simply select the subtotal by drop list and select tag. And now I have a list of all of that bills broken down by each of my pets. Obviously, this is a simple example with only two transactions, but I have another example I've created where I've tagged the person who purchased groceries over the course of this year. Using the same exact process, we can quickly see how much I spent on groceries versus how much my wife spent on groceries. As you can see here, this can be quite useful when you run it against large sets of data and large numbers of transactions, uh, and you can track that data in a very customized way. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below or let me know what other content you would like to see in the future.